Ah, cat cables all tangled already. Hey, what's up, yo? My name is Move the Way Today, and um, today I am going to try a little something different. So, as you may know, there was a 16 bit Nintendo system called the Super Nintendo. And most of you watching this probably already know, but for those of you who don't know, I just thought I'd try it. And most of you have known of the game of Roblox. Well, I mean, as far as I can tell. Anyway, so I wanted to see if I could try and play Roblox with the Super Nintendo controller. I'm not recommending that you try this, by the way. I just thought I'd get over it. how I would do it. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do this is that I have this, um, this manual for Doom for Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. So I thought I'd give a little something into this, and uh, these are the main controls for Doom, which is the game that I, I, the manual that you're looking at is for. Now you're probably wondering why I am bringing up this manual. Well, because I have to map the controls to the Super Nintendo controller, but the way I do that is that I have this magic this magic and S set to direct input mode, and I know that someone's gonna say, but how are you gonna put a Super Nintendo controller in the Magic and S? It's not gonna work that way. Well, I actually thought ahead and decided to use a Wii Remote. Well, hook up the Super Nintendo controller to the Wii Remote. By using this adapter. NES slash Super NES to Wii adapter. And this also works with Wii U and possibly the NES and SNES populations. Not Genesis, because that's an entirely different company. Anyway, I'm just going to plug this Magic NS back into my computer. And uh, in this folder, th this is actually the Roblox game files, by the way. Please don't ban me, Roblox. Uh. Anyway, so if I were to open the software, which in this case it already is, um, as you can see, I have set up X360 CE which is an Xbox 360 controller emulator, in a way. So the way that I do this is that I'm gonna connect up my remote. There we go. Set up ready to go. So, L and R buttons are the left analog stick, specifically in the proper directions. Mostly for uh, turning the camera left and right, although I don't know why Doom has that. Um, I could have just mapped it to um, yeah. Although, well, I don't know why Doom does L and R for strafing. I mean, I could just use left and right on the D-pad. Anyway, speaking of the D-pad, I have that set to the analog stick. And up and down on the D-pad are actually is the Y axis. So, so if I want to change my weapon in Jail in, in Roblox, for example, Jailbreak and Doom Spy Brick Battle, which, by the way. Decide to map that to uh, the right bumper. Uh, there isn't a spare button for. The... There isn't really a spare button I have for mapping it to the right bumper, so. Yeah. So, for. So, I mapped the A button to the actual A button on the Xbox controller because, well, Doom doesn't have a control to jump, so. Yeah. And also, B is the trigger. So if I'm playing Jailbreak, I can just use that. Although it's kind of useless when playing Doom Spire Brick Battle. And uh, Start and Select are their proper buttons on the Xbox controller as well, which they're not called Start and Select on the Xbox controller. They're actually called Start and Back for some reason. <laughs>
Okay, so for some reason my recorder stopped working after 16 minutes of gameplay. Oh, uh, it's uh, kind of lagging a little. Uh, I think I might know how to fix that. I'm just gonna set the recording quality, or not recording, uh, graphic quality. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just get out of that and. Subscribe, comment, click the notification bell if you like, and that's all you gotta do. So, 